class, it's teacher Lina and today we're going to be watching one of my favorite Barbie movies or just pieces and portions of it and it's Barbie and Swan Lake. Of course, I love Swan Lake. Swan Lake is like part of my top two. Top one might be Giselle. What's the fight between Giselle, Romeo and Juliet and Swan Lake. I definitely love Giselle so much because of the drama and I love bittersweet endings. And that's why I also like Romeo and Juliet and probably the reason why I like Swan Lake too. <laughs> I don't know, I just am not a fan of like the whole happy ending thing. I love the unfinished ending, the bittersweet things or the things that go into heaven. <laughs> anyway, but um, who doesn't love Swan Lake? Of all the Tchaikovsky music scores for ballet, I love Swan Lake the most, definitely. Anyway, but this is my second movie review since the leap ballet portion movie review did so well. <laughs> I didn't expect it to go so well. I'm gonna be giving my ballet teacher a take on it. I watched this movie growing up and now that I am grown up, of course, I would love to re-watch portions of it and just to remember the times and watching it. So anyway, I will go through some of my favorite scenes. It's definitely the dancing scenes. I'm so excited. I remember how beautiful it was when it first came out and it was not like direct to the story but the idea was there you know how the deceiving of Od Odile and Odette and you know it's very very interesting ballet we should do a review on that soon also anyway guys let's get to it this is one of my favorite scenes we'll start with the scene in the forest where the little kids start dancing so one of my favorites too you need some sex Spanish dance, guys. I love that they got the Spanish flavor, which you do have to do in this ballet. But they cut off the first part. It has a longer intro. And they took elements of the, the batmas in this. I love the head, it's so, you know, just movie. Ah. Ah. And the alternating head and arms, definitely Spanish. And they cut this portion too. Bravo! Ah, I love that part. Ah, just want to relive this valley or this dance or my childhood memories definitely this was one of the better made barbie movies for sure there are certain cringy ones i remember some pada do this just having some weird feet but oh my gosh barbie and this one like just did so many things right with ballet and like the head and the apple ma and all of that it's just amazing another favorite is barbie and the 12 dancing princess which i should review soon too which let me know what you guys think because I love this scene. I love the use of the head. Although I know that they just cut, I mean, I guess they cut the music because maybe they were short of time. But this dance isn't very long anyway. They did cut a lot of parts. The first part, the intro, towards the ending, they also cut the that portion of the which is like one of my favorites. They could have done a lot more foot movements, but I guess like this is. All that they felt they could do for that <laughs> anyway but it was a good dancing scene love the apple mom love also the elements of spanish steps and the head spot on very good the next video in this dance is the next scene one of my favorites also and this is her lesson from the fairy queen so let's go She has a long dress. Beautiful. <gasps> they changed the ballet attire. Of course, shorter to two. I guess like this is really good because they had to shorten the long dress into short. I mean, realistically, you can't dance if your dress is that long. And you'll just trip on it, especially you're gonna be doing butmas and stuff. So I love that they shorten it just for ballet. It's like so realistic and just like the way they did it. 
and uh, just had to get that out there because it's very important for us dancers to see our feet and our legs and it's especially when they're nice use them if you have them use them so let's continue Neapolitan and I love the music Ooh, her arches are so pretty love the simplicity of the steps Nice arms also. Beautiful arch and turn out as well. I can imagine where this is going. I still remember the steps from when I was younger. That turn out. That turn out, guys. Oh my gosh. Wait. Look at those feet. Oh my god. Huh. Turn out super. Please that over under. Love that. It is amazing. The choreography is amazing. And my gosh, that turned out. I'm pretty sure they used real dancers. I remember watching a Barbie documentary once where they would um, use real dancers for the actual um, filming where they'd pin like these dots on them and just like like follow their arms. But Barbie and Swan Lake, super spot on. You'd see the use of the arms, really ballet. And also the use of the opposing arm, very, very clear. There's so much other ballet movies where you'd see like bent wrists and all of that. I think with this ballet, they got the fingers right too. Like you can already see like the long fingers also. <laughs> Love the dance so much. Very true also to the style. I don't know why they also cut this music. Probably it's like the length of the movie time, but they cut the music towards the start because it does have a second portion that's I love, I love the when you don't cut music, just because I love the whole thing. And you know what's next, so it's like, oh, they skipped that part, and you're like, okay, whatever. Anyway, let's go to the favorite part, of course, is the padada, and this is the ending of this movie, like towards the end of the movie, where she does the padada with the prince. Which is also pretty same as the padada in the actual ballet, where Odile, or the evil girl, deceives herself or they cast a spell on her to make her look like Odette and then the prince thinks that it's her and swears his undying love to the wrong person and she becomes like trapped and all of that so let's go. I love how they show like the black and the you know, like the pure swan and the black swan. Love the camera <laughs> angling too. That's pretty intense, you know. Just for this dance. Hmm? Nice angling also. Of course, the dead flying. That's the real dead. Pretty good though. And they used elements of the you know, actual. I lost my mother. I found myself a bride tonight. And I never break a promise. Though, uh, but some I don't know something about Barbie movies like I guess like because she's Barbie like her elbow just doesn't move right. <laughs> well, that's the ballet teacher in me speaking. I 
love like you know like how Rothbard looks. It's so just in that time and very realistic to the actual ballet story too. Like I guess this is how it would have panned out like if it was also like in real life. I guess what I'm asking is, will you marry me? <gasps> no! No! And Ravels. I couldn't help overhearing, Your Highness. Are you asking for my daughter's hand in marriage? Yes. That's very flattering, but I must ask. Do you love her? Yes. I love her with all my heart. And the use of music here. Oh my goodness, it makes me want to watch the movie so much. This is one of my favorite parts in the whole ballet, Act 3 of Swan Lake, where, you know, like, she's deceived and just this part is like the most dramatic part, which leads into Act 4, which I love because Act 4 is one of the shorter acts where you would also get just like all the the love and the pain and everything combined in this ballet. Oh, I love the ending. I remember crying in the ending scene when I used to dance that last part when Odette and the prince would die. In the version that we used to do in the company, they would sacrifice themselves. And I remember like we'd go in and it would be like all black out and just like fog and you'd come like when the lights come on you can see like all you and your friends and your company and we're just all the core we would like be flying oh that scene <laughs> makes me okay, so it makes me so emotional anyway but the music just brings me back to that and i think this is why i love swan lake so much performing it so many times on stage it just gave me it oh this like feeling for it but this is pretty like intense just watching it it's so true to the story you know and I remember being having elements that were not very close to the story but like all in all Barbie and Swan Lake did it so well like just almost spot on there they just did it so well so I uh, would recommend watching this Barbie uh, series it's definitely one of the best Barbie movies. I will say it's out there, like just the story. Another one I really loved, I remember, was Nutcracker, which I would do with someone soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Barbie review by myself, of course, Teacher Lena and a ballet teacher or an ex-company dancer's perspective, the way I see it. I think this movie was done so well and just like the camera filming, the angles are so good. You know, like they just knew which way to take it also. like. Some were too close up, but then I would say like all in all, they got like the height of the leg really well and they were also able to get like the angles very well. So kudos to the team who did this and who, tri who made this definitely learn to speak to professionals because I'm sure that like, if you don't watch ballet, you wouldn't know how to do it this way. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let us know what else you'd love for us to review or to watch or to give tips on. Of course, this is Dance by Lena or Dance by Lena Dancewear. You can go check our dancebylena.com website. Of course, support our merchandise, one of my favorite quarantine t-shirts. But yeah, because we're still quarantined. So let us know what else you'd love to hear and we'd love to get your support and your comments and your feedback. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Bye everyone.